Hey guys, it's Christy. I'm going to try making you some videos for the month of April to see if this helps us um, better know what we're teaching for the whole month and then also to give you an idea of what will be in your baskets every time you show up. Um, before we get into our lesson for April, I want to remind you why we do what we do. We have four priorities in All Star Kids. That's to create safe, welcoming environments that we do all small groups all the time. That we're teaching kids to believe in, love, and follow Jesus. And you can celebrate with us. We had about six kids baptized this last weekend, and I expect about that many more for April. And that's one of the ways we measure whether we're um, reaching kids and teaching them about Jesus. And then we're also partnering with parents. Let's think for a minute. Have you ever been to a birthday party for a two-year-old? Who was that party for? Were there other two-year-olds there that thought the party was just for them? How about an older sibling? When you're two, the adults in your life try to distract you with extra toys and prizes to help you learn to play with others, like with goodie bags. But what happens when kids turn nine or 10? or even 30 or 40 like us. And we're still working to convince ourselves and others that the world revolves around us. In their book, Economics, Stephen Smith and David Markham reveal three things that show that you might be more self-focused. Those are, you see everyone as a rival, even if you're on the same team. You take it personal when someone disagrees with you and then there is a lack of graciousness when you lose or win in defeat. When I heard these things, I had to do some soul searching because of my response to people around me sometimes. Why would ego be something we talk about when it comes to teaching kids to believe in, love, and follow Jesus? I like to think that selfishness is the opposite character trait to humility. In fact, this month we will focus on humility, and sometimes we need to look at things upside down to see it right side up. We're talking about humility all the month of April, and that might seem like a crazy topic to cover when we head into Easter, but hang with me. Humility is learning to put others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Who do we know was the ultimate example of humility? Jesus right? How did he show his greatest act of humility? Through the events that led to his death on the cross. We'll spend all month looking at these stories that lead to Jesus' death and resurrection from the lens of how he showed humility. Why is it important for us or for kids to know? Through the birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, God made a way for us to be in a relationship with him. Jesus didn't deserve anything he suffered. He was God. He was sentenced to death because he was God or claimed he was God, which is why, why the Jewish people wanted to kill him. His victory lap came when he came back to life to show the disciples and everyone else that he was God. Think about that for a second. The whole thing was so that he could come back and show God's character. How are others going to know and grasp God's love and sacrifice if we live it in front of them just like Jesus did? How are others going... So... Everything we encounter gives us the opportunity to, to ask, how can Jesus be glorified in this? Not how Christy or Sam or Andrew or Josh be glorified or made to feel better. How can Jesus be glorified? That changes every relationship we have. I'm so excited to celebrate Jesus' resurrection this year with all of you. Remember, as we lead with kids, the time we spend with them is not wasted. Every minute you're in the same area as a kid is a chance to make a new and deeper connection with them. 
not in a creepy way, but through our relationships, we have time and understanding to help them see Jesus in a new light. So when you get to All Star Kids this month, think about who you're going to take time to get to know better. And putting aside you, because we're learning about humility this month, for a few minutes, what is the kid's biggest wish or fear? Check out the other videos. I'm excited to try this with you guys, and I'd love to hear your feedback. We'll talk to you soon.